What are the cell cluster size, number of cell clusters, maximum number of users, and effects on frequency reuse and transmit power for cellular system with 500 duplex voice channels, 150 cells, and a required CSO ratio of 18 dB, considering path loss exponents of 3.4 and 5. Our objective is to analyze the performance of the system under different path loss exponents. To find the cell cluster size, we can use the formula n equal to asterisk c slash i1 slash n minus 2 where n is the cell cluster size that is the area of the cell, c slash i is the co minus channel signal to interference ratio and n is the path loss exponent. For n equal to 3.4, n equal to asterisk 18 1 slash 3.4 minus 2 n equal to asterisk 18 1 slash 1.4 for n equal to 5, n equal to asterisk 18 1 slash 5 minus 2 n equal to asterisk 18 1 slash 3b. To find the number of cell clusters in the service area, we can use the formula number of cell clusters equal to total number of cells slash cell cluster size for n equal to 3.4, number of cell clusters equal to 150 slash asterisk 18 1 slash 1.4 for n equal to 5, number of cell clusters equal to 150 slash asterisk 18 1 slash 3c. To find the maximum number of users in the service area at any instant, we can use the formula maximum number of users equal to number of cell clusters asterisk number of duplex voice channels per cluster for n equal to 3.4 maximum number of users equal to 150 slash asterisk 18 1 slash 1.4 asterisk 500 for n equal to 5 maximum number of users equal to 150 slash asterisk 18 1 slash 3 asterisk 500 d effects of the path loss exponent on the frequency reuse and on the transmit power minus as the path loss exponent increases, the cell cluster size decreases. This means that the frequency reuse distance becomes smaller, allowing for more efficient use of the available spectrum. However, this also means that the transmit power required to maintain the same coverage area will be higher, as the signal will attenuate more rapidly with distance. Minus conversely, as the path loss exponent decreases, the cell cluster size increases, leading to a larger frequency reuse distance. This results in less efficient use of the available spectrum but requires low transmit power to maintain the same coverage area. In summary, a higher path loss exponent leads to more efficient frequency reuse but requires higher transmit power, while a lower path loss exponent results in less efficient frequency reuse but lower transmit power requirements.